rise and shine. The daily routines of history's most creative minds. Vertical line science. Vertical line the guardian. Turn auto play off. Turn auto play on. Please activate cookies in order to turn auto play off. Jump to content s. Jump to comments c. Jump to site navigation 0. Jump to search for. Terms and conditions 8. Edition, UK US so. Your activity. Email subscriptions. Account details. Linked services. Profile mobile. About us. About us. Australia team. Contact us. FAQs. Press office. Jobs. Terms of service. Privacy policy. Advertising guide. Guardian Weekly. Subscribe. How to subscribe. Guardian Weekly. Email services. Ethany. Android. .gsc control csd width 25 rem exclamation point important padding 0 float right input .gsc search button background color number sign pddbd border color number sign pddbd input .gsc search button colon hover background color number 999 border color number 999 news world sport comment culture Business. Environment. Science. Travel. Technology. Life and style. Data. TV. Video. News. Science. Psychology. Rise and shine. The daily routines of history's most creative minds. Benjamin Franklin spent his mornings naked. Patricia Highsmith ate only bacon and eggs. Marcel Proust breakfasted on opium and croissants. The path to greatness is paved with a thousand tiny rituals and a fair bit of substance abuse by Eros but six key rules emerge. Share. Tweet this. Email. Oliver Burkeman. The Guardian, Saturday, October 5, 2013. Jump to comments. Click on image for full illustration. Illustration, Jean Julian for The Guardian. One morning this summer. I got up at first light by Eros I left the blinds open the night before I Eros then drank a strong cup of coffee, sat near naked by an open window for an hour, worked all morning, then had a martini with lunch. I took a long afternoon walk, and for the rest of the week experimented with never working for more than three hours at a stretch. Daily Rituals, How Great Minds Make Time, Find Inspiration, and Get to Work, How Artists Work. By Mason Curry by the book. Tell us what you think. Star rate and review this book. This was all in an effort to adopt the rituals of some great artists and thinkers. The rising at dawn bit came from Ernest Hemingway, who was up at around 5.30 m, even if he'd been drinking the night before. The strong coffee was borrowed from Beethoven, who personally counted out the 60 beans his morning cup required. Benjamin Franklin swore by air baths which was his term for sitting around naked in the morning. Whatever the weather. And the midday cocktail was a favorite of Versus Pritchett among many others. I couldn't try every trick I discovered in a new book, Daily Rituals, How Great Minds Make Time, Find Inspiration and Get to Work. Adley, my girlfriend was unwilling to play the role of Roy's wife, who put toothpaste on his toothbrush each day to save him time. Still, I learned a lot. For example, did you know that lunchtime martinis aren't conducive to productivity? As a writer working from home, of course, I have an unusual degree of control over my schedule by Eros not everyone could run such an experiment. But for anyone who thinks of their work as creative, or who pursues creative projects in their spare time, reading about the habits of the successful, can be addictive. Partly, that's because it's comforting to learn that even Franz Kafka struggled with the demands of his day job, or that Franklin was chronically disorganized. But it's also because of a covered thought that sounds delusionally arrogant if expressed out loud, just maybe, if I took very hot baths like Flaubert, or amphetamines like Auden, I might inch closer to their genius. Several weeks later, I'm no longer taking air baths while the lunchtime martini didn't last more than a day I mean, come on. But I'm still rising early and, when time allows, taking long walks. Two big insights have emerged. One is how ill-suited the 9 to 5 routine is to most desk-based jobs involving mental focus. It turns out I get far more done when I start earlier, then a little later, and don't even pretend to do brain work for several hours in the middle. The other is the importance of momentum, 